Hi guys, it's Anne here, and today's video is my 20 in 2020 project pan. So I am going to be doing this in a, it's 20, 20 in 2020, and I'm also doing this in the team project pan style. So I wasn't using specifically their categories list. Um, I sort of had my own set of categories that I was trying to work through, but I am going to use their philosophy of um, if I finish something up, I will roll something new into this. So it's a bit of a rolling project pan, as well as I'll be doing um, what they were doing with like a quarterly update. So after three months, if if I'm really not loving something that's in the project pan, I can replace it with something else. So with that, let's get started into the list. The first item I have in my list is the Delia Organics Nail and Cuticle Oil. This is full. Um, you'll see in the close up, I have a little line at the very top. The reason why I have this in my project pan is not that I, I'm desperate to finish this. It's I know myself that I won't use this unless I'm being sort of forced to use it and in this project pan I will be forced to use it because I will be doing check-ins so I, like I want to use the product I just know myself it's not part of a regular routine so I need to find a way to make it part of my regular routine so yeah the first item I have is the Daily Organics nail and cuticle oil also last year I wanted to use a nail and cuticle oil and I found out the one that I had was bad so this is like my my redemption oil the next item in my list is also not something that I'm like desperate to finish up but I I need to put this in here because if I don't, I won't use it and I, I need to use it. So the second item is this, uh, the new face gel primer. And the reason why this product is in here is because I need to use my new face device. I haven't used it in months. Not going to lie. Well, maybe I think October was maybe like, yeah, months, I guess October was the last time I think I used it. And I really want to get back into using it. I, I'm just lazy. That's, <laughs> I have no other answer. I am just lazy. Um, I prefer to use it at night because I have a bit of time to use it. I just don't. So by putting this in my project pan, I'm hoping this will force me to, because I'm going to be doing check-ins, again, like the, the nail oil, um, to show that yes, I am using it and yes, I am using my device because I want to use the device a bit more and actually determine if I like it or not. I haven't used it enough to know that it's actually made a difference or not. The third item in my project pan is an item that I just need to finish and get out. You know that clutter that sits under your bathroom cabinet with you know, the lost forgotten graveyard of products? This is one of them. This is the Healing Garden uh, Sensual sensual Therapy Passion Rose. Uh, it smells terrible. It doesn't smell like rose at all. It smells like, you know when products have a cheap scent and it almost smells like wood or like wet paper? Um, I don't know if that makes sense, but that's what this kind of smells like. It doesn't smell great. Um, it's okay. It says all day moisture body cream. It's not as good as the Bath and Body Works uh, body creams. I really like those. So again, this is a product I, I don't want to waste. I don't want to throw it out. I It is usable, so I am going to use it because um, I don't like it, but I can use it. So I think I'm going to use this on my feet specifically um especially right now my feet are really gross because it's so dry i forgot to mention i'll put on the screen the starting weight of all these uh products so i did pick up this little jewelry weigh scale so it's actually one of those ones that gives you like a point number number gives you two decimal places after or two numbers after the decimal place decimal point um it's a bit more accurate than i have like a weigh scale for the kitchen and i find that might be a bit easier for this project pan because i know some of the products like you use less than a gram um per update so anyway i'm putting the weights on the screen as the starting weight so that's how i'm basically going to be tracking it i find the photo tracking can get difficult. It's actually just really difficult to edit the photo tracking. I will still take photos, um, but I might not do like the photo comparison every update because it's a lot of work. Item number four on my list is the Ordinary Serum Foundation, and this is in the shade 1.2 and I've talked about this in previous videos before. I am growing to like it a little bit more. Um, my skin is a lot better than it used to be a year ago. And so this doesn't look so bad anymore, um, but I just want to finish it. It's right at the line right now. So that's why I'm like, it's while it's not one of the oldest products in my collection, it's also something that's almost done. So I might as well just work through and finish it. Um, and it's an easy everyday foundation for me to use. I probably, probably wouldn't repurchase this. I feel like there's other products like lightweight foundations that I prefer over this. So I have two foundations in this project. Item number five is the Rimmel Lasting Finish Foundation. So they're very different foundations. This one's a very high coverage one. This is one that may not 
carry through the whole thing because um, this is very light. I'm wearing it right now. This is like the only time of year that I can wear this. Come like April, May, I won't be able to wear this anymore. So I put the little marker on there. I've definitely gone through like, like it, it's wider and it goes narrower. So I'm hoping it will get easier as I go through this. It is a high coverage foundation. So I don't like wearing this that often, but I do prefer to wear something like this for filming. Um, it's a fine foundation. But again, I probably wouldn't repurchase it. I do have other ones that are more high that are high coverage that I just like the formula a little bit better. Um, and again, the shade is probably not the best for me. At least it doesn't work all year round for me. Item number six is a concealer. I have a lot of concealers and a lot of little mini concealers because I bought this Boing collection last 2018. So I have like five or six of these little guys. Plus I bought the cakeless one, like the mini cakeless one, just to try it out. This is the hydrating one. When I did that little project, uh, when I reviewed this, I mean, I wasn't sure, I, this was like my least favorite almost, because I wasn't sure how to use it. And then the other day I decided, why don't I just like try this like an all over light foundation? And it worked, I didn't mind it. So that's how I'm gonna use this. I'm not gonna use it like, probably not gonna ever use it as like an under eye. Um, and it's too um, slippery to like conceal like, um, acne or anything like that, but I feel like it will be useful as like a light coverage, no makeup, makeup kind of day. So hopefully I'll be able to get through this one pretty quickly and then I will replace it with another concealer after that. So this entire palette is not in the project pan, not yet, um, but I do have two items in here that I want to put in the project pan. I would like to finish this palette um, or at least four items. I'm, I think you can get a four size palette like this. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'll try and correct myself if I can see on the website. Um, but the first item I want to um, use up is this one called Soft Light. It's just, um, it's like a foundation, but it's very, very light. So I think, I mean, maybe use this like as an eyeshadow base um, or like a brow bone highlight. And get, again, at this time of year, I can probably use this like to dust all over my face. So again, I want to try and get through that one and then maybe move on to another one. I picked this one instead of like an actual compact because these are pretty small. So I feel like I can probably get through this um, over a actual pressed compact. So this is the start of the lip product. I was considering maybe doing like a lip product project pan, but instead I'm just, I'm just going at it with this, um, with the regular project pan, but each lip item is different. So hopefully I don't have any conflicting issues. The first item, um, and number eight on my list is the Milani Keep It Sweet Sugar Lip Scrub. I'm just going to put this out there. I don't like this. And it's not that it's a bad product. I just realized myself that I don't like lip scrubs. Um, I never use it. So again, this is another product that I just never use. Um, I was trying to use it recently um, and I put it in the shower actually because I thought maybe if I put it in the shower that will make me use it more. But the problem I have with that is sometimes if I get too much of it on, like if it goes around the outside of my mouth, then I start getting like acne, like little clogged pores uh, around my lip line. So that's a pain in the butt. So I'd like to just finish this product up and be done with it. <laughs> that's all. I wouldn't buy it again. Again, it's not a bad product. As far as lip scrubs go, I think this is a good lip scrub. If you're into lip scrubs, I am just not. So I just want to finish this up and probably wouldn't re uh, repurchase. So I knew I wanted to put a lip balm in this project and I went back and forth on like, I have way too many and where do I start and which one do I use? And then I was going through my list and I was like, you know what? This is a good product. This is a good product because visually it will show change. Um, and second, I like this product. Um, I would repurchase this when I finish, but again, like I have a million other items. This is the Smith's Rosebud Salve. Now I've talked about, I don't like rose scented things like at all. <laughs> this isn't that bad though. It's not, it's like a traditional, like English rose scent, like a potpourri rose scent, but it's not too strong. And you can see like I am almost hitting pan. So I will hit pan very soon on this. Uh, but again, there's a lot of product around the outside. This is what I used to use at night before I bought the Laneige lip sleeping mask. I think I might like this better. Um, again, I haven't used it in a while. So I'm going to I'm going to go back to this and give it a go. Um, it's just like a petroleum, I think. Yeah, it's just a petroleum cottonseed oil. Um, trade secret perfume. So okay, it's a really simple, simple product. 
Um, and it was really affordable when I bought it. I think it was like $7 or something. So, so yeah, that is my item number nine. Item number 10 is going to be a struggle. I already know this because while filming this video, I was putting most of these products on my face. I forgot this one and that's what's going to happen. And that's basically what's been happening since I've had it. And it's the NYX lip primer. It's one of those products I just don't know how to use. And I don't, it's not, again, it's not part of the routine. It's okay. Like maybe I'll end up using it as like a face primer. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I want to try it though. I want to give it a good shot. Um, cause maybe it does make a difference. I don't know. Um, but I never use it. So <laughs> item number 10 is this Julep lip gloss. It's either the shade lovely or the shade lively. I think it's lively. <laughs> the writing is so small. And it's one of my oldest lip glosses. So I did have a marker there, but it's a little shaken up. It's one of my oldest lip glosses, I think. Um, and for me, I like lip gloss. I go through lip gloss fairly easily. So I think this should be okay um, to use. And it's a deeper shade than like the other lip glosses that I was using this past year. So I definitely can use this like throughout the day, like take it to work and whatnot. So I think I'll be able to finish this one. I hope I can finish this one and start working on another one. That's really what I would like is to sort of have like a lip gloss category because I have a lot and I have a few that's like, you know, I can finish those up and, and part with them and be done. So item number 12 is sort of like my lipstick category and I have that on my lips today. It is the Vite Lip Crayon in Glass or Glacé. And this was I think part of that set with the Party Blush. This is pretty much full. I've barely used this. So, but it's very small. So I'm gonna just roll it all the way up here and you'll see it in the close-up shot. Like there's not a lot of product in this. So the reason why I picked this as my starting lip product is, is motivation. I need something that's not gonna be too tragic to get through. And I think I can get through this. Um, I don't wanna say fairly easily, but I think I can get through this and then I can move on to another lip, um, either lip bullet or liquid lipstick or something like that. Item number 13 is my only blush in this project. <laughs> I learned from last year. And the reason I picked this is A, it's a cream product and B, it's broken. <laughs> so I kind of need to use it. It's the Milk Lip and Cheek in the shade Work. My little container broke, so I can't twist this up or down. So it's twisted all the way up. Like that's all the product, I think. And yeah, so that's why I just, I just need to use this because it looks horrendous. <laughs> And like I said, it's a cream product, so you want to get through it. Um, you don't want to hang on to something like this for too long. So I do have that on today. It's fine. It's a nice, easy, light blush. But I feel like this is going to be, again, like most blushes, I don't need a lot of product. So it's going to take a long time to get through this. Okay, item number 14 is probably going to be the death of me. <laughs> if it's anything like the Benefit What's Up. This is the Cover FX. Um, I think they call it Enhance Click in the shade Bubbly. This may have come in the same kit as the Josie Moran Cheek Gel A that was in my 2019 project pan. I think it was definitely, I'm almost certain it was in like a Sephora kit, probably in like 2017, maybe 2016. So I definitely just, again, it's a cream product. I just want to use this. I think, so my lesson learned from the benefit what's up, and I think I saw a cat from Beauty News do this as well, was to just like use it all over your face as like an, an illuminating primer. Um, just to get through more product. So I am wearing it today. I don't know. Um, you can see it. And I think the shade of this is a little bit better for me. It's a bit more of a rosier shade than the Benefit What's Up. So I think I'm going to like this one a little bit better at least. Item number 15 in my 2020 project pan is, it's going to get really hard to say that, is this Marc Jacobs uh, highliner, I think they call these. This is just a mini, but lesson learned from the other two in this kit that dried out before I could use them. I wanna use this one before it dries out. Um, again, gonna have some issues with this because like today, I was gonna put this on before the video and I forgot. So, <laughs> might have some issues trying to get through this, but I definitely want to try and at least use it as much as possible because any use that I can get out of this is better than none compared to the other two eyeliners that dried up. So item number 16 is I'm doing something new that I didn't do in either Project Pan before, I think, and I'm doing a rolling item. So this item was in my 2019 Project Pan. This is the ColourPop Lip Liner 
in O snap. And the reason why I want to continue using this is because it's pretty small and I think I can finish this finally. So lesson learned, I can't finish a full size lip liner in one year, but I can probably finish one in two years. So that's why I put this one in. And it's a nice neutral color that I can pretty much pair it with anything um, and it'll work. So back to this little palette here, the bronzer that I'm starting off with, well, it's more of a contour is this shade. It's called a uh, sculpt. And you can see that I've used quite a bit of this product already. So that's why I'm starting with this one. There's no point in starting with any of the others. Might as well just finish this one out um, and move on with my life. It is called Sculpt. I'm pretty sure is the shade of this one. So it is a bit more of a contour, um, which is fine. Um, I think I can finish this up probably through the spring. And then I'll maybe move on to um, perhaps this powder. This powder is a bit more of a bronzer and it's in the shade Tan. Either this one or this one. This one's called Toffee. I'm not sure I'm going to ever use this one. This one's in the shade Hollow, but we'll see. Item number 18 is going to be a difficult one, but I want to use it and get it out of my collection. I don't want to just declutter it as is because I feel like, again, I, I don't want to just waste it and throw it out. Uh, I want to try and, try and use the product, uh, but I don't really like it. It's the City Color HD Powder. This I bought when HD powders were like all the rage. Um, and I realized I don't really like HD powders. I feel like they can age me. I, I can't use this under the eyes. Uh, it definitely makes my under eyes much wrinklier. What I do use this, uh, how I use this is, is I take a beauty blender or a, um, a puff and I just sort of tap it in like right here where I have like pores. And I think that will work. Um, but I don't need a lot of product to use to do that. So this is probably going to take a really long time to get through. But if I can finish it, I would be very happy. Item number 19 is a face primer. And I had some issues trying to figure out what face primer to use because I like to use different face primers for different reasons at different times of the year. Um, but I settled on this one just because uh, it might take me the full year to use it because I might chop and change with some other primers as I do my makeup. But this is the Ordinary High Adherent Silicone Primer. I've used this a handful of times. It's okay. Um, I actually might purchase this again in the future. We'll see. Um, it just is a very, like, no pun intended, ordinary primer. Um, I know it's called a silicone primer, but I prefer this over, um, like, the Smashbox ones. This one has a bit more of, like, it feels a bit more like a moisturizer, um, not quite quite so silicone-y compared to the Smashbox ones. It feels, feels like there's nothing in here, but I know this is pretty much full. Um, there's only one fluid ounce in here though, so it really isn't a huge primer compared to some of my other ones. My last item in my 20 for 2020 is a hair item, and this is the Hask um, Manoi oil. It's a nourishing shine oil. So it's just an oil. I usually use this like on the ends of my hair um, when my hair is wet or sometimes even when it's dry like the winter time right now it's nice to put a little bit of this on the ends like on day two where I feel like the ends of my hair will feel dry even though the roots the roots need some dry shampoo. The ends need some nourishing. I think I think I can finish this. Um, I've put the little marker on it. I maybe I guess like a fifth of the way through it I would say. Um, I do have multiple, I have like two other hair oils, so that's why I, can, I, I just need to try and work through at least one of them. And this is the oldest one that I have, so I do like these. Um, I'm pretty sure this was one that my mom had, um, not 100% sure. So I would definitely repurchase these in the future, but like I said, I have a few hair oils at the moment, so I uh, wouldn't be repurchasing this anytime soon uh, once this is finished. That is my 20 items for my 2020 project pan. As you'll notice, there are no eyeshadows in my project pan at this point. I'm still debating if I want to do a pan that palette or not. Um, I bought a lot of eyeshadow in 2019, so I'm not sure if I really want to try and do a project pan or I just want to like get to know the eyeshadow palettes I bought a bit better. Um, that's why I'm a bit on the fence on that one, but we'll see. As I said, I'm doing the team project pan, so it's rolling. So perhaps at some point I might roll out something and put in an eyeshadow uh, later on in the year. We'll see how that goes. I hope you liked this video. If you did, feel free to give it a little thumbs up down below. I would love it if you did subscribe to my tiny little channel here in Toronto, Canada. I hope you have a fabulous day and I'll see you sometime soon. Bye.